Okay, so today's slam is on Google Forms, the jack of all trade. So many amazing features and uses for Google Forms. So I'm using my extension I told you about last week, Google Docs Quick Create, to open up a new form. What I want you to pay attention to is the type of question you're asking and then what the features are for that question. So if I click on the three dots, you can see I have a response validation. So if you're asking your students for um, a number, maybe you want to make sure you're going to give them some hints of what that number might be. If they don't get these um, answers, then they have to change it up. Uh, text, it has to contain. If you want an email address, you can require that. Um, lots of different features for short answer and very similar when it is a paragraph response. You can get length or a regular expression. It must have to contain something in there. Multiple choice has features such as go to section based on answer. That's one of my favorites. So if the answer was yes, it goes to one section. If your answer was no, it goes to another section. Um, if I'm a sixth grader, I'm going to go answer these questions. If I'm a seventh grader, I'm going to go answer those questions. I even like for check boxes, uh, the features there, response validation, is they have to select a specific number of boxes when you have that checkbox feature. So check those out depending on the type of question that you're asking. The other thing I've been playing around is the theme customization. So you can change the header and you can change the question and you can change the text. But what I've been playing with are my headers. So check out that pretty cool header. What I did to create my header is I went into Google Drawings and I go to page setup under the file feature. Instead of a standard page setup, I'm gonna play around with custom. Instead of inches, I'm gonna go to pixels. And the number here is 1600 by 400. If we create our page size to fit that, we can play around with anything we want here. So we can play around with our background color, we can insert any images that we have or find them on the web. Um, I've been playing around with the school district logos and the building logos and that kind of thing. Now the trick here is once you've created your header and named it, you need to go to file and then you need to download it either as a JPEG or a PNG file. That is the file type that Google Forms needs in order to use it in your form header. So there we go, boom. And now I'm gonna get your attention and you're gonna fill out my forms. Slam.